How to set up your camera for live streaming. You're going to need a camera. You're going to need someone to show you all the steps. And most importantly, you're going to need some cables. So without any further ado, let's get into this. Hello and thanks for joining me in this course. I'm going to help you to live stream with your gear. The whole idea here is I want you to be able to live stream with your photography gear for your next Zoom meeting, your next live stream. Even if you're doing some gaming, you want to stand out and make your live stream look epic compared to everybody else. I've got a setup here that I've been using for a number of years. Who am I? I live stream on Amazon Live. I live stream on Reddit. I live stream on LinkedIn Live and have loads of content that I make around videos and live streaming. So I want to share my knowledge with you and give you some options to help you make the best of your next live streaming session. I'm aiming this at anybody who's interested in making a nice looking visual element of their show. If you're setting up a show, if you're setting up a live stream, this is going to be the one for you. So make sure you watch this course and enroll. We're going to have some amazing tips to share with you. We're going to cover nearly everything you need to know from the camera, the lighting, the gear. The cameras will be a big element and very important for you to consider. So you could go down the lines of a DSLR camera for live streaming. We can look at a couple of options and see what works well and what doesn't work well. So I would say if you're looking to do a professional setup, you can work from a webcam. So webcams do offer good quality these days and you're going to be spending a couple of hundred dollars easily on a webcam to get you some decent quality. However, if we were to find you a camera which is more versatile, because if you're going to be making digital content and you're thinking about making videos, you're going to also want thumbnails for those videos. So you want to be able to take good photographs to accompany your videos. You want to maybe do additional videos that are trailers or built up to your actual live stream this is one camera i'll show you a few more cameras and then we can actually look at what would be good for you to give you an idea of live streaming cameras so first we have a entry level dslr camera so that's option number one we've got a more professional dslr camera it's slightly bigger with a more professional lens we're going to talk about lenses and why you'd want a better lens in some situations what will happen is you will notice if you want a more professional feel with depth of field and a nice sharp image with like a blurry background, a lens is what is going to achieve that with the DSLR camera or a mirrorless camera, which is also an option. So there's two options there. We also have an action camera, which you can theoretically use for live streaming. And I will talk to you about that. So if you have certain types of action cameras, they can work for live streaming. So keep that in mind. And if you've got a budget, you're looking to have a cheaper option that might be an interesting one to look at however most people will be familiar with webcams so you can actually use a webcam for live streaming which is what they're intended to be used for so these are nice easy options again this will determine on the feel and look of your video that you want to achieve which camera you end up going with so i've given you a couple of options here to help you think about it however something we haven't covered you can use a mobile phone if you have a nice mobile phone, that will work well for live streaming as well. But it is all dependent on the type of feel of your final show or your live stream and what you're looking to do. If you want something with multiple cameras and something that's visually pleasing, we will be looking at additional options to help you. So let's have a look at some actual cameras and get a look at prices and budget. To help you along, we're going to look at some actual camera examples and prices. So find the camera and the budgets around the cameras. You also get some valuable tips along the way of why certain cameras would be better than others. So as you know, we're going to concentrate on one camera today where we're going to set it up in a live streaming situation. However, it's not going to be a bad idea to check what else is out there because not everybody will have the same budget or a requirement from the live stream. So I'm going to bring you quickly over to my screen here. The first option I'm showing you is a webcam. It's a Logitech C920 webcam. So you're looking in the region of 90-ish dollars, so under $100 basically. And that'll be a camera for you. That'll give you a nice wide view. Yes, so what we've got here is one of the options for your webcam. So there are many brands out there, so you need to keep an eye on that. There will be an extremely wider view on this camera. So it's going to be a slight different feel. It'll be very similar to if you have your laptop webcam on 
and it's quite in your face and it's a bit what's the correct word bloated would be the word i think because it doesn't give you that nice pleasing view so webcams perfectly fine for meetings and quick sessions because it's a requirement but if you're looking to do a more professional looking video a bit cinematic with nice colors then we need to look at additional options so i wanted to show you that to give you an idea of pricing let's have a look at another option so what else do we have we looked at an action camera such as which can be plugged in. So there's a number of options in action cameras. Some are available to be used as webcams and some are not. So that needs a bit of research. Uh, let me show you a few examples of pricing. So we're looking at double the price now because we're gonna look at something like the DJI Osmo as an option. And these are giving you ideas of pricings on cameras. So they're not gonna necessarily be available for live streaming. You would need to do more research on that. That's one interesting thing. If you're using cameras such as action cameras that are designed more for video and action and you're using them in multiple ways, it can still be done. I've done loads of videos and help videos about how to use an action camera for live streaming and that's where I originally started. I used that for a number of years until I got to a point that there were slight things that made me worry about that. We'll talk about those in a later segment of why certain cameras will cause you issues if you're live streaming for longer periods of time for example but if you have short sessions it should be perfectly fine now next up we've already looked at the dji we've also got a hero 9 here so gopro allow you to live stream with their cameras but you can see we're quickly getting into a higher budget here now that's close to 400 dollars so if you're looking at a cheap stream and you're looking at a budget option you want to look at a webcam maybe your existing mobile phone or possibly an action camera dslrs i think it's time we looked at some dslrs so let's bring up a few dslrs for you now so next up because we're looking more closer at dslr cameras we're going to look at a few options there's a mirrorless camera option i'm going to show you two canons that i have used and i've been interested in for live streaming so let's bring you over to my screen the first one here is a canon m50 mark ii camera uh, this camera has a few extra options or few features which are quite handy for live streaming so we'll talk about those so price wise you're looking at close to 700 dollars that's an interesting option for a camera for live streaming now if you're looking at that camera would you get what you want if you're looking at this type of quality yes you will but there's additional things to go alongside that so we need to keep in mind your actual overall budget it will incorporate lighting leads it's quite a bit that goes into it but don't worry we're going through each segment today so we'll be fine so that's option number one i did not buy the canon m50 mark ii i recently upgraded from well recently i say it's been about two months i used to use this camera for live streaming and i've changed to this camera and this camera i'm going to show you right now and the reason why i bought this camera over the canon m50 that i'm showing you today okay so this camera is the one i brought this is the Canon SL3, also known as a 250D. It's a great small option, lightweight camera with a flip out screen, and it offers the essentials you need for live streaming. What are the essentials? Ideally, you'd like a flip out screen so you can see yourself if you're filming yourself. In addition to that, you're going to look at things like, does it have a HDMI out, which is going to be essential. We're going to cover that in a later segment segment so don't worry too much about that hdmi out refers to a signal coming out of the camera so if you have a hdmi out cable such as that little section there you plug a cable in and it allows you to see what the camera is showing on your computer for live streaming so basically using it as a webcam that's an interesting feature that we need to keep an eye on as well as some cameras will not have a clean menu to come out it might show you the recording sign the battery logo all those things so we need to find cameras that don't show those menus we want it to be clean like you can see here there's no overlaying menus on my uh, live stream uh, or video recording and also we want auto focusing in live view because if you're moving about we don't want the camera to miss focus you so what i mean by that is if you refer 